Now check for edema. Comparing one foot and ankle with the other, note their relative size and the prominence of veins, tendons, and bones. To detect pitting edema, press firmly with your thumbs for at least five seconds over the dorsum of the feet behind the medial malleoli, and over the shins. Note any indentation caused by your thumb pressure. Normally, as seen here, there is no pitting edema. Next, palpate the calf muscles by compressing them against the tibia. Do you feel any tenderness? No. Note any tenderness increased firmness or tension of the muscles that might suggest deep venous thrombosis. I'd like to perform a test to look at the circulation in your legs. I'm now going to raise your legs. If pain on walking or diminished pulses suggest arterial insufficiency, look for postural color changes. Elevate and support both legs to a position about 60 degrees above the examination table. It'll be just a little bit longer. Wait 30 to 60 seconds until the feet are drained of venous blood. Mild pallor of the elevated feet is normal, but watch for unusual pallor. Then ask the patient to sit up with his legs dangling. Comparing both feet, note how long it takes for the skin to return to its usual color, normally about 10 seconds, and for the veins of the feet and ankles to fill, usually about 15 seconds. If pinking cannot be seen, use venous filling instead. In lighter skin patients, pinking of the skin is easily seen. Rubor, or dusky redness, which may appear gradually in dependent feet, suggests poor arterial circulation. Please stand. To complete the examination, ask the patient to stand. Then inspect the saphenous system for varicosities. Here is one small varicosity. Please turn. And another. Do you have any tenderness? No. Look for redness or discoloration and feel for tenderness and cords. Turn. Note these smaller venous enlargements behind the knees.